This is a video showing the construction of a truss using number 4 and number 5 members from the bridge set. So we have the number 4 and number 5 members as well as the corner connectors and the screws to affix the members to those connectors. So start off with the number 4 member, attaching the pin to the recess within the center part of the connector and then we're going to affix that with the screw, tighten it all the way down, finger tight, and then back it out one quarter turn so that the joint does not support any moments and will only be uh, strictly compressive or tensile joint. So we're going to repeat that process for the other end of this member and then we'll go ahead and uh, begin the same process with the number four beam attached to the same joint and then again affixing that with the screw making sure to tighten it down all the way hand tight and then backing it out just a bit. We'll repeat that process for um, the last connector here. Again putting the pin into the recess for the uh, middle of the connector and affixing it in place with the screw. Now we'll attach the hypotenuse of the uh, triangle, the number five member and connect that across. So for any 45, 45, 90 triangle, um, these will be made of two connectors of one number lower than the hypotenuse. So for instance, in this case, we've got a, a 4, 4, 5. The next size down would be a 4, 3, 3. And then the size below that would be a 3, 2, 2. So once we've connected this last section here, we will have a completed truss for which we can now uh, start to substitute in the load cells.